Hello, I'm Dr. Brand Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about vitamin D6. Now, a lot of times we don't go into enough, uh, enough depth when we talk about vitamin B6. And we talk about just the simple fact that you can have a vitamin B6 deficiency. You can also have a um, vitamin B6 toxicity. So I want to go a little bit more into depth in that today. So vitamin B6 is a very important vitamin for the body. It is involved in over 150 different processes in the body to help it function, including the digestion of carbohydrates, um, the functioning of the immune system, the functioning of the nervous system. And if you ha don't have sufficient vitamin B6 in your body, you're going to actually have significant side effects, including peripheral neuropathy. So in this case, you're going to have numbness, tingling, uh, burning type pain. You could even have some muscle weakness and so forth because of the vitamin B6 deficiency. So that being said, uh, vitamin B6 deficiency is not common. It's actually quite rare. And most of the time you can get sufficient vitamin B6 just in your diet, just in making sure you eat correctly. Um, in cases where we actually have a vitamin deficiency, a vitamin B deficiency in other vitamins, this may be the case as well in vitamin B6 and should be tested. Uh, if you're going to supplement vitamin B6 and you know you have a deficiency, it is recommended that you do not take more than 50 milligrams a day. They found in many studies that over 50 milligrams a day become toxic. Now, that being said, a toxicity can also be measured in lab tests and you actually get a higher, higher dosage of the vitamin B6 in your serum, in your blood, and because of that, you can actually get toxicity. So how does... Um, vitamin B6 toxicity happen. Pyridoxine or vitamin B6 actually causes a necrosis of the nerve, especially the dorsal root ganglia area or the long myelinated nerves. And it can actually cause necrosis or basically destruction of the nerve. Ultimately can lead to cell death if you do this for a long period of time. Um, and so it's recommended that you find this cause and treat it quickly. Now, in most cases with vitamin B6 toxicity, you can actually decrease or you can eliminate vitamin B6 supplementation from your diet. And over a period of six months, the symptoms will reverse. The peripheral neuropathy will improve. So this is one of those situations where you can eliminate the cause and the peripheral neuropathy will improve itself just from the nerves repairing and recovering from this. Um, this is called um, mega vitamin B6. It's a diagnosis that you're saying, okay, you're getting too much vitamin B6. So you're getting a toxicity that's causing necrosis of the dorsal root ganglia, necrosis of long myelinated nerves, and ultimately cell death. Um, it takes six months to recover. But the interesting thing, if you go off the supplementation, you say, okay, I'm going to stop vitamin B6 supplements and see if my symptoms start to improve. For the first four to six weeks, a lot of times, the symptoms will continue to get worse before all of a sudden it turns around and starts to come back. So you may not notice initially. Vitamin B6 should not normally be supplemented unless you find a documented, lab documented deficiency. And then you may want to look at possibly saying, okay, what can I eat? How can I improve this through diet as opposed to supplementation? This is Dr. Rank Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 338. Um, vitamin B6 